Welcome back guys, it's me here again. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to dump your MediaTek firmware, okay? In other words, I can say I'm going to extract my current phone firmware, okay? So, let's get started. In order to start this process, we're going to need some tools. And thanks for the developers to make these incredible tools, okay? <coughs> so, let's head over to the browser. Uh, first thing we're going to need is Python. Go to download section. Now go to Windows and then download this. Okay, now open this package and perform the installation like I'm doing right now. Okay, check this at Python. 3.10 port customize installation all users must be checked click on next now click on install for all users here I'm changing the directory you can do the same but it's not compulsory and now click on install okay till it installs we're going to type git uh, going to downloads and click on windows okay cancel this one now we're going to need 64 bit for 64 bit windows and 32 bit for 32 bit windows okay and also portable versions are available but uh, i prefer the installer go and start download open this also click on yes next okay this I'm going to change the directory of this tool. Click on next. Click on next. Next. Okay. I don't want to create the start menu folder, so I'm checking this. Now click on next. Next 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 whatever <laughs> keep them default okay now close this in order to confirm the python installation we're going to start type cmd and here we're going to enter python uh, okay as you can see our python 3.10 is successfully installed now close this now <laughs> we're going to type mtk client to github okay all these links will be in the description now here you can see <coughs> this is the mtk client we need to click on this code and download a zip let's start downloading uh, those are the tools we're going to need. Mm -hmm. Finish. Now we're going to <coughs> download the MTK client. Now uh, here we go. We're going to extract it. yes okay now we're going to copy this folder control C or you can just copy it from here and paste in the Python directory okay Python 3100 Okay. 
in order to now our tools are ready okay the main thing is our tools are ready in order to back up your phone where there are some certain conditions like your phone's bootloader must be unlocked okay in order to unlock your bootloader i already posted a video on it go check it out okay going back to web page here we install the python we install the git okay now we're going to copy this command going to python directory here we go in this mdk client main directory and type cmd here now we're going to paste it and press enter make sure you are connected with the internet okay it's going to install some prerequisites now it's giving us the some warning pip is downgraded okay we're gonna upgrade the pip so in order to upgrade our pip we're going to copy this command Control c and paste it here okay our pip is ready and successfully installed close this command go back to web page now we're going to click here going to need this driver all the drivers link will be in the description okay going to 64 bit msi if you got 32 bit you can choose this one click on start download open and install it it will automatically get installed okay going back okay guess we're done here you can also follow this process here how to root your phone but as i said i'm gonna show you practically okay close this window now we are already in this directory type cmd type python mtk print gpt now hit enter now we're going to switch off our phone and when our phone switches off hold down the volume up and down and connect your phone to the pc okay as you can see here's our gpt table details we got boot para recovery vb meta nv data all the portions we are going to dump okay now we're going to type the command python mtk rf flash dot binary okay it's going to dump our firmware okay when this is done after a long time a file will be created in mtk folder named flash.bin let's go check it out uh, we're going to python directory and then mtk main directory here we got our flash.bin okay it's 58.2 gb now using this file we're going to create our firmware okay but make sure you got enough file disk space to hold this file okay now close this section okay you can close this section also now okay we're going to need another tool don't worry i'm going to link those tools in the description okay that's ntk authentication bypass now we are going to open this tool open the tool now we are going to click on this read preloader okay now again switch off your phone and connect to your phone while holding 
power up no oh, oh, sorry while holding power, volume up and volume down okay okay our preloader has been read successfully okay now we can disconnect our phone we're going to rename this preloader from here okay this is great now we need to copy this preloader to desktop okay close this also okay now we're going to need um, one another tool and that's wwr mtk open this tool now we're going to open this tool okay okay and this is giving some some advertisement let's just wait for it because it's open source you can by the way remove this advertisement by donating okay our app has been loaded now we need to do some changes in app okay so these changes are actually mandatory okay go to settings go to tabs and select second variant now again go to settings select font size and select seven okay now we need to restart our app okay our app has been reloaded now click here on select file and select the file we just read back from the python this flash dot pin okay click open okay as you can see our flash from where details has been loaded now click on auto mode now click on third option start autopilot okay now uncheck this option and check this option identify platform from lk binary okay now click on start the process okay now it's gonna prompt to select the reloader now we're going to click ok and head over where our loader has been saved here you can see i just copied it to desktop i'm going to select this preloader and click on ok now it's going to analyze the preloader okay now after the process is done uh, we're going to click on this build acclaim plug firmware okay uh, you can also convert your ext34 image to pass image if you want but i'm gonna leave it be i'm gonna click on build clean firmware okay now we are going to choose the directory where we want to save our firmware okay so oh, i'm gonna save it to the desktop creating the new folder here naming the folder vivo v15 firmware okay now i'm gonna select the folder and it's gonna start the process okay here you can see we got our phone we're extracted everything we need everything guys everything we need is here now i'm gonna close this tool and our firmware is about 6.81 gb gigabytes okay as you can see our scatter file scatter file has been generated yeah you can use this firmware 
force your flash your phone using specific tools like sp flash tool or whatever you tool you're gonna use so this is it guys hope this tutorial helped you if it helped you please subscribe my channel and share my videos okay that way you're gonna help me and thank you